The next thing we're going to take a look at is out in the drain field, especially on engineered mound systems. They all have it. It's at the end of each pipe. There will be an inspection chamber slash clean out. So you can clean out the end of the pipe. So let's take a look. We're going to open up and get the end of one of them. We'll take a look inside. Looking inside, we can see all the way to the bottom of not only the rock, but the sand that's beneath the rock. And this is designed, there's, there's holes that allow water in. If there's any standing water that's collecting down the bottom, you can tell if there's any water. You probably can't see it, but I can see there's no water. Everything's working beautifully. So next, I'm going to reach in. We're going to take off this cap. This is at the end of the pipe. Just unscrews. We pull that off. The next thing we're going to do is, is run the pump manually. For a short period of time, we're going to do each end, and, and that'll clean out the pipe of any accumulation of sludge. We just leave this and run it one at a time. So let's do that next. You see the water coming out. Looks pretty clean. Just flush it for 15-20 seconds till the water looks reasonably clean. Still see a few things coming out of it. It's kind of a judgment call really. Keep in mind you'll likely have to add water into the pump changer throughout this process so you don't run it dry. That looks pretty good. Now you've seen how to flush one drain line. There's five more to finish for you to do on your own. I want you to remember, as you're flushing them, your low level alarm may come on. If that should happen, please stop, turn off your pump, fill, add more water until the alarm goes off, and then continue flushing the rest of them. I also want to point out this is a really unique example of a drain field use. And look in the background, you see you've got a toy, kids playing, you've got a campfire set. This is all great ways to use your drain field area. Most people think the only thing you can do is plant grass over it. So that's a little bit of a myth that I want you to think about. There's a lot of creative things you can do that will not harm your drain field, but also be a little more unique than just grass.